Hi there, beloved viewers. I hope everyone is enjoying their day. The wealth of information in today's update includes everything from the most recent information on social security benefits to a landmark ruling in Colorado that could have a big impact on politics, especially with regard to former President Donald Trump's candidacy for the next presidential election. So let us begin a careful investigation of these complex developments. First, let us explore the financial domain. Currently, Social Security benefits are being given out. The average amount is approximately $1,848. It is anticipated that this number would rise slightly to just over $1,900 in the upcoming year. Let's turn our attention to the top issue that has caught the attention of news cycles and sparked impassioned discussions around the country before getting into the specifics of who is eligible for these payments. Colorado's highest court has taken a daring and unusual stand, establishing itself as the first state to prohibit Donald Trump from running for the Republican primary in accordance with the 14th Amendment, a decision that has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. The contentious four, three decision by the court centers on Trump's purported complicity in the January 6, 2021, attack on the Capitol. This choice is made without a trial and without a conclusive finding of guilt or innocence, which gives it an additional degree of intrigue. Colorado has decided to utilize the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment to keep Trump off the ballot. State justices contend that this clause applies to the president's office and that Trump's dissemination of false allegations of election fraud constituted to insurrection. Even though Trump's legal team is requesting a Supreme Court review of the decision, which has put it on hold until January 4th, the decision has already stirred heated discussions over what constitutes fairness in the democratic process. Trump's spokeswoman has categorically stated that she will appeal the ruling, and her name will be on the ballot until the appeal is resolved. The ruling has rekindled debates on the essential idea of letting the legal system play out and giving the people the final say. It's important to remember that Colorado's seven judges were all chosen by Democratic governors, which raises the possibility of partisanship in the decision. Some of these judges support caution, arguing that voters should have the last word and the legal process should be allowed to play out despite their personal beliefs. In a related and fascinating development, Republican contender Vivek Ramaswamy has declared that in the event that Trump is not included, he would prefer not to be on the Colorado ballot. This is a principled stance. Although this action may not have a significant direct impact on the outcome of the race, it raises important concerns about the possible implications for Colorado's political environment and whether it has the capacity to influence voters' choices in the approaching election. Returning to the subject of money, Social Security recipients currently get benefits of approximately $1,848 on average. January 2024 is expected to have a 3.2% increase in this amount due to the annual cost of living adjustment. But questions remain about whether these adjustments keep up with the rising cost of living, especially for older people whose incomes are fixed. In conclusion, the Colorado ruling introduces an interesting, intricate, and crucial dynamic into the political sphere, and the continuous discussion about Social Security benefits highlights persistent economic difficulties. I cordially encourage you to remark here with your thoughts on these developments. Remember to click like and, if you haven't already, think about subscribing for more in-depth updates. I appreciate you contributing so much to our conversation, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Folks, there you have it. That concludes our in-depth look at the most recent developments from Social Security payments to the significant Colorado ruling. Please feel free to add your opinions in the comments section below. Your participation and insights add richness to our debates. Please remember to hit the subscribe button for more updates and to give today's content a thumbs up if you found it interesting. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Till then, be careful and enjoy a wonderful day.